All right, guys. Uh, for the cast master, I keep saying how I'm going to come up with a video, and I'm doing it. I got some uh, quarter-inch steel tube. Got some more here. Uh, I'm going to go over to Castmaster how I run mine. And I'll measure on my uh, burner where I run the air plate. Because I know a lot of people have been saying they're having popping noise. Ah, crud. Um, I never change my burner plate. Or my air intake so let me measure that real quick to help people there this is where i run mine <sighs> sorry total disaster i got so many projects going ah uh, right around half inch i never change this i got that set that never changes and that's actually supposed to be up against that, but we're running a uh, half inch. I never change my setting on that. When I turn it on and off, I turn my regulator on for my gas. When I'm ready to turn it off, I turn the regulator off. I don't change nothing on here. When you mount this, I set it you want it so it's slightly recessed. And I've gotten it so hot, you can see I've totally discolored what, because it comes in a stainless finish. Nice, uh, and that, and you can see that's how hot I've gotten this thing by opening it more. When I set this in here, you want it, well, you gotta get your bolts out so you can get it in there, I guess. You want this slightly recessed. Don't put it into here so it can be seen. All right, that ain't gonna work there. Let me come over here. See what else we can knock down. You don't want this sticking in. Now we're dropping the bolts for it. Recess it about that much. And then what I do is when I put my bolts in here, I cock it so it's tight what, this way. And so this bolt will actually stay loose. And this one, and I'll lock it down at that angle recessed like that i mean if you try squaring it it's gonna be like that cock it over and then tighten your nuts down leave it recessed about like so and like i said i get this bugger so hot i've actually discolored my whole canister so that's if i really back this off a lot but set it about a half inch, they'll melt the aluminum all day long, no problem. Um, I just got this box today. Now let me see if I can find my bolts I just dropped. Oh well, oh, oh there's one. I'll have to find, there's the other one, so there's all three. I just got this today, which I've been waiting on for doing small pours. Yeah, I got this, I got a little tiny one. That way I can actually scoop in and pour because we're doing some small sand castings. This is to make a, a silicone mold so we can actually make an item. Then I'll pull it out and I'm gonna do it in sand. And I went and I bought some metal. That's why this is all out. Uh, I'm building my, uh, I'll, the sand's going to be similar to this, but a little bigger, but there won't be a bottom. That way I can put my, my pat object down, put this over it, put sand, pack it, flip it over 
lift that out and pour and that's why I've been waiting on these little ladles instead of trying to pour the whole crucible so I can just do one two ounce pours. I'll still melt the big batch but that's what we're doing with this. So I got this in today. I got one more ladle in the house. I've just been waiting on this stuff to come in and you know, I can only buy it as I can afford it because I still have other stuff to pay for. Um, the forge, I hope to be getting up and operational. Everything's here now. Uh, I did get a replacement. Okay, I lost it already. Oh, it's all in there. Uh, my regulator came was missing. And uh, one other part... They were real quick. I called them. I said, hey, this this is what happened. Man, the next day, I had a box here. So, oh, my refractory. So I got my refractory and my regulator. So now I can go and mix this and coat the inside of this, and then we can get the forge operational. Um, uh I guess that's about it. Uh, I gotta get the saw out so I can start cutting this tubing and we're gonna make some crucibles out of uh, quarter inch or three sixteenths steel. So uh, we got, the, well, it was just up there standing. Not my day today. And uh, this is my propane tank for the forge. I still use this little one for the foundry because it don't consume a shitload of gas. Um, I guess that's about it. I'm going to get this up and post it just so you guys know I have not forgot to do more casting videos. And... Uh, I'm in the process of building the molds because my wife's making my patterns and of different stuff. We got uh, skulls, sea turtles, uh, uh, wolves, just a bunch of different stuff that we're making silicone molds so I could go and start doing sand casting of different figure animals and all that. So. That's where we're at. I'll get this up just so you guys know I didn't forget, and uh, we'll be with you shortly. I know I got a lot of projects. I got the gauges going on. They're almost done. I got to get those in. Um, I got these casting, because with me being in the hospital, I got an extension, but I got to get the big crucible made because I got the hammer project that i gotta get going on and get that done for that group um so i got way behind i've tried i did get some billet stock these are gonna be the handles for not the movie version of thor's hammer but the traditional thor's hammer that's gonna be one handle um I gotta find somebody with a lathe. This is two inch here. What I wanna do, this much will be in the hand, the hammer head. I wanna come down this much and then make a line here, make a line here, and then have this lathe down to about an inch and a half. And then only from here to here, and then this will be big again. That way I can do some carving down here with a Dremel tool, and then you'll hold the hammer right there. But that's two inch stock. Uh, this is one and a quarter. Wife said she wanted me to make one with a small because... It won't be just guys holding it, so, you know, got to make it for men and women. So, that's where we're at. We'll see you later.